2014 Soccer World Cup recap is brought to you by Specsavers. All right, two African teams playing tonight, Nigeria and Algeria. What are your predictions, right. Garen? Okay, so we had two of the five um, African teams get through to the round of 16, and they both happen to be in action tonight. Unfortunately, I think they're both going to lose. Oh, um, no. So this could be the end of the road for an Af from an African point of view. Mm -hmm. um, we've got France up against Nigeria. And then straight after that, it's Germany, Algeria. So, you know, France and Germany, two powerhouses of world yeah. football. You know, they, Germany in particular, look really, really good to, to, from my point of view. You know, always strong in defense, got some good strikers that can score goals, which is obviously key. France, a little bit more unpredictable. You know, in the past, they've gone sort of walkabout and you don't really know what, which French team will turn up. But they have been pretty impressive in this tournament, scoring a number of goals. I think they'll be too good for Nigeria. Um, it's difficult to actually say which, which African team has a better chance. I, I, I would say Nigeria, not because they're necessarily better than Algeria, but mm. I just think France is slightly weaker than Germany, if, if that makes, right. makes sense. And, of course, I picked Germany to win this tournament, so, <laughs> so they have to win. So, yeah, but it'll be interesting you know, 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock kickoff mm -hmm. South African time. Certainly, you know, from an African point of view, we will be glued to our TVs tonight. Nice soccer on a Monday night. So hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully at least one of them mm -hmm. gets through. Otherwise, you sort of, like I said, over from an African point of view before we've even reached the quarterfinal stage, which, which would be a bit sad. Yeah, Rob, I think it's a no-brainer, but do you <laughs> agree with Garen? I do, sadly, uh, but uh, let's, let's just uh, uh, temper it with, uh, with the sort of the optimistic thought is that uh, if, if both African sides get through tonight, uh, which I also think is, is highly unlikely, mm -hmm. then you, we will have a guaranteed uh, African semi-finalist for the first time in a World Cup. Wow. Um, so uh, that's a little incentive um, for, the, for those teams. Uh, I've got to say uh, Algeria have probably been my, my favorite African side uh, in terms of quality of football. I've been very surprised, that, pleasantly surprised by the way Algeria have played. I don't think they went in as one of the more touted African sides necessarily. Um, and uh, I thought uh, they've, they've put up uh, quite a good show. They are capable of perhaps sort of holding the Germans for a, a fair amount of the game. But Germany, of course, if the match does get into that sort of dramatic late stage where it's going to be down to a late goal or yet another penalty shootout, and I hope that doesn't happen because you don't want to have too many of those, too many uh, ties at this crucial stage sort of determined right. by penalties. But um, you've got to think the German cool heads would probably uh, prevail in a penalty shootout, although you can never be sure. But um, as I say, Algeria, you can't completely write them off. Um, but I've got to make Germany the favourites. And in the France-Nigeria game, Again, uh, you've got to say that the, the European side probably will, will have the, the sort of tactical mouse to be able to, to eke it out. Um, the French uh, have just fallen off a little bit after a really good start to the tournament in, in their group. Um, so it is possible that Nigeria can get through, but uh, I think both uh, European sides will do it.